In this last section, I'm going to look at what type systems guarantee. There's a slogan coined by Robin Milner, which is that well-typed programs do not go wrong. And there are two things that we would like to a type system to satisfy. Firstly, it should be the case that well-typed programs stay well-typed. Secondly, if we have a well-typed program, there are certain kinds of runtime errors that we do not get. And if a type system guarantees that, then we would say that the programming language with this type system would be type safe. And indeed, Haskell is type safe. What do we mean by type safe? Well, there are two theorems that must hold, as the, the previous slide indicated. The first one is subject reduction. It's a theorem that says that if we have that an expression E has a type T under type environment and a class type class environment, and E reduces to E prime, then E prime is also well typed and indeed it has the same type. And um, this is a very important and very nice theorem because it guarantees that if an expression E is well typed and performs a computation step, then afterwards the program that we're left with will also be well typed. Of course, this is a theorem that we need to prove. One can definitely find type systems, uh, silly type systems, for which this does not hold, unfortunately, but it holds for the, t for the type system that we have in Haskell. And the proof of this, uh, I'm not going to give it to you now because uh, it's quite long, but the proof of the subject reduction theorem, as it's usually called, is approved by induction in the reduction rules, because this is where um, we see the connection between the reduction semantics and the type judgments. So here we're saying that for all reductions, it's the case that the type is preserved. Um, then there is the other statement, uh, which says that type programs can't go wrong. And uh, what does it mean to go wrong? To capture this, we define an error predicate that describes the possible runtime errors that may occur. Now, there, there's a whole host of runtime errors that you can imagine. So the error predicate is defined by a collection of rules, and there are very many. And here are some of them for the language that we've considered in today's session. I'm not going to list all of them because there are very many of them. But here are just a few. Um, one is uh, wrong for plus. If we have two values, v1 and v2, and we apply the plus function to them, and v, v1 is not an integer, because we think of this as integer addition, then we go wrong. Another uh, wrong rule is that if we have and applied to two values, and the first value is not a Boolean value, if it's not a truth value, we go wrong. And uh, if we have a function application, e1, e2, and e1 goes wrong, the entire application goes wrong. So runtime errors will ripple down uh, through, through the syntax, so to speak. And um, of course, it might also be the case that e2 went wrong. In that case, also, we will conclude that e1 applied to e2 would go wrong. But as I said, that's a very large collection of wrong rules that you need to define. If you define them nicely, one can now show the following safety theorem, which says that if E is well typed with type T with respect to um, a type environment and a type class environment, then E cannot go wrong. So this is a theorem that says that well typed programs can't go wrong. The proof of this is also quite long. It's a proof about the type system, so it's a proof that uh, proceeds by induction in the type rules, which means that we have to show that this property is preserved by each and every type rule. The proof may be a bit tedious, but it's also very instructive because uh, it uh, requires that we inspect and understand every single type rule in the system. So proving the safety theorem may not be fun, but sometimes uh, 
it, to give, it can give you a lot of insight about the language that you're considering. Um, in this case, it was Haskell.